हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट विद सम प्रैक्टिस एंड सॉन ऑन द टाइप स्क्रिप्ट वीडियोज सो हियर इज अवर कोड एंड वॉट यू विल डू इज यू विल ट्राई टू डू सम हैंड सॉन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू ग्लोबली इंस्टॉल अवर टाइप स्क्रिप्ट एंड कैम इंस्टॉल माइनस जी टाइप स्क्रिप्ट सो इट विल इंस्टॉल द टाइप स्क्रिप्ट कंपाइलर विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन पी एम सो इट्स ऑलरेडी डन यू जस्ट नीड टू रन दिस कमांड and you can install typescript as a global module okay so it will be installed in the 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 nvm of your global folder after that uh, you will be able to see the tsc command which is a typescript compiler it will start running it in the typescript version is 3.0.1 okay so before uh, going there what we will do we will first create a ts config because before compiling like you can compile the files like this main dot uh, ts and the output is main dot js right so main dot js is unsupported extension so let's try to fix this this first so first of all you need to have a ts config file because compiler need that file for your transpilation so your compilation so you can see ts config in it has been created so you can see Uh, there are a lot of options the target is js5 module is common js allow js is true so it will allow the javascript files to be get compiled all these extensions are there okay so i will just copy the base config we will not talk about each and everything so target is js5 module is common js module resolution is a node source map is true and here allow js is true so now when i do tsc main dot js then it will look for this particular file and it will create let's uh, just remove this js file because what it is looking it is also comparing to compile it here you got a uh, main dot js file right so here it's a it's a warning here but this main dot ts like let's write a uh, the simple class here And try to compile it. Let's do this main dot js. So you can see main dot js is generated. It's compiling it. So this class is like a function. If we block like syntax has been generated for this particular class, right? And this is our ts config file, which is. Talking about what are the compiler options are they allow JS is true so it will also do the compilation of JS files module is common JS target is ES five we are going to achieve okay that warning uh, I will fix that warning which is coming with the latest version of uh, the TypeScript the unsupported extension it is supporting only uh, the TSX extensions and all TSX dot D dot uh, TS all these extension it is supporting. okay this is a little bit about how to do the setup of the typescript compilations on your local machine now let's uh, talk about the part 2 of uh, typescript so we already know that why we are using typescript and all these things this is how we need to install and give install minus c typescript okay typescript overview so this is developed by uh, microsoft one developed for the the hasselsberg uh, was a prominent developer in microsoft who developed this typescript and now it is free and open source it is a super set of the javascript we are writing es5 es6 maybe es7 it is on top of everything typescript can compile your plain javascript code also you just need to do allow js yes, true in the ts config okay so now it is becoming becoming industry standards like if you have seen the slack has been moved its code with the typescript and you can see we had a javascript running on beard run time engine then we had es2015 which is we are calling as es6 having the features of arrow functions classes modules import export enhanced object literals block scoping modules all these things were there right so lot of new features were introduced in es6 and in the same phase typescript was being developed so to add the safety of this future 
version of JavaScript, we need the TypeScript version. So you can see the default argument in functions, ES6 features. We are having the Latin cons for the block scoping. All these things are there. I will not talk about the arrow function, which is providing the lexical disbinding, uh, the template literals, right? And then classes, which is giving us the object oriented kind of feeling. Okay. So why should we use the TypeScript? Better overall code readability in large code database, large code base. So whenever we have a code base growing, right? In that case, like there may be a chances where we miss, we should have this type shift in our application if your application is growing very large, right? So it, this is providing ease of refactoring and type shift is a prominent thing which you should have, you must have in your application, okay? Consider this code var x123 and you start doing x dot trim, right? You are doing uh, the trim function on the number, right? So it will break, right? X is a number and uh, you are trying to compile it. So you will get a trim is not in a function. It's available only on the a string, right? So rename with, with the dot ts and run the compiler. Now we are just changing this dot js file to dot ts file and we are running that compiler itself first without running it at runtime, the compiler will give property trim does not exist on type number. So if we are writing this code, uh, similarly like if we are writing this code here, and we are doing x dot trim, right? So we will get this function trim does not exist on type number. So this is kind of a compile time while you are developing the applications, you are getting this kind of warning. So you will be prevented from the future disaster, right? Compile type and these are the basic types. We have the Boolean string number, uh, all these types are there. So explicitly we are defining the types of each and every variable. Okay. So you can also have a type array, array of numbers, array of string, array of oh, type any like this array of empty so you can create array of integer array of number explicitly i'm saying this array can hold only the number values nothing else right basic type tuple tuple is actually a dynamic type which can have a multiple values either can be of string either can be of number so x so the values will be like this hello and 10 if you are putting x with the 10 and hello then it will be an error because the first tuple should be of type string right so this is the new custom type available in the TypeScript, which can have two, which can hold two values. So enums, enum is another important thing. Like when whenever we wanted to put the values from the fixed set, so color can be of red, green, blue. If you are trying to put something else, you will get an error. So I'm creating the variable C of type color, which is of type green. I mean the green color of green from the enum color. So uh, you can also put any when you don't know what will be the type then you, you have a freedom let's put any for that so not sure you can put any there and uh, <coughs> the void when when you don't know what this function is going to return or what this function is returning or if the function is not returning anything put void there we will be fine okay undefined and null these are also two other types so if you don't know that this value is undefined. If you are sure this value is undefined, then you can put the type as undefined. If you sure this null content is of type null, I mean its value is null, then let's put the null. So undefined and null is also Java's TypeScript basic type. Always remember these are the types defined in TypeScript. Okay, type assignment, uh, very easy. We have the any value, any value of uh, right now any, but uh, here I'm creating number of any value length okay of uh, type number so what i will do string any value of dot length so let's try to uh, understand this type assertions so here i'm creating any value two of type any okay and here i'm creating another value any value length two so i'm creating a string of type any value any value two any value two is of type any right so I'm creating any, so it's kind of a type assertion or type conversion, any value to as a string dot length. Okay. So variable declarations in uh, 
TypeScript is the same. Either you can use a var or you can use a let keyword using if you block. Uh, we are trying to fix the problem of for loop where it is printing the same value uh, from the synchronous loop. So we can use a let keyword with a set timeout. It will print value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So uh, we already know that uh, when we are using the ES6 and we are putting let A here, so let B is not available because let B is declared inside this particular block. So while writing the TypeScript with ES6, we also need to take care of the syntax. Okay. So rest we will cover uh, in the, the next video, the fundamentals of the TypeScript.